That green focus, how many wants to know what the hell the green focus power hour is, right? Everybody's like, what is this? This is, the releasing technique is, a, that's just one technique I teach for, that's let go, and then this is, if I gave you two million dollar ideas, that if you, I guarantee, if you do it for one year, and we come back next year, if you haven't changed your life, then, then there's no God. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's a big statement. But that's how much, that's how powerful they are. The Green Focus Power Hour is something I created some years ago and I use it with all my clients. And I am a Green Focus Power Nazi. Because if they don't do it, every day they gotta check in. And if they don't check in, guess what? I'm check, am I on you? Man, Jason got yelled at the other day in front of everybody, I don't care. You have to do it, why? because it's a technique to clean the cage out fast. And so what you do is, you read something spiritual for 10 minutes. Spiritual, motivational, you know, things like that. You read for 10 minutes. What is that doing? Putting information into the cage, right? Then you journal for 10 minutes. When you write, the neuropsychoactivity of writing releases stuff out of the cage. That's why when you're upset with somebody and you write them a letter, it's like, oh, I feel better, you know? Then, 10 minutes of orders from the captain. Now, when I first start with the clients, and that was what Jason was trying to tell you is, I have a set affirmation because I know what I need to do the first 30 days to him. Then I start curtailing the affirmation towards what he wants. But affirmations are powerful because how many people do affirmations? Everybody better raise their hand because I'm telling you right now, you may not know it, but everybody's doing affirmations. You know, because if you're saying something over and over again, most people are negative, but affirmations. So affirmations, especially I am, using the I am words. And then visualization. And let me tell you something. What I do is, I, when I first get a client, I want them to write a day in their life five years from now. I wanna see that day, what's a day look like five years from now? And then I want them to visualize that for 10 minutes. That is one of the most powerful things because what happens after that is, if I can get the picture into the cage, remember how it works, right? If the picture's in the cage, super conscious has to make it happen, has to happen, has to happen. You understand it? That is the law of focus. And then for 10 minutes, they meditate. I don't have a lot of rules about meditation. I have some, I could do a whole class on meditation. Because my challenge with meditation is, is that when you just do 15 minutes in the morning or 20 minutes in the morning, so what? It means nothing. And that sounds horrible, right? Because I believe in contemplation. Because if I want to reach enlightenment, man, I better do more than 20 minutes and I don't have more than 20 minutes, so I better be doing something every hour. And that's where the mindfulness comes in. Anybody ever do Course of Miracles? That's a great course, right? You know why? You gotta do something every day for 365 days, right? Every day you gotta do something and that means you gotta contemplate on something and that's a meditation, you're meditating on something. So, but meditation is important because that is exercising the mind but it has to be all day. That's what mindfulness is, to make sure, you can't meditate in the morning and be screaming at somebody two hours later. It doesn't work, because you're in the red, green zone, oh, red zone, you know? And then I have you exercise and do anything for 10 minutes. Why do I do that? The reason I have them do this first thing in the morning is because how you set your day determines everything. If you start your day with the alarm going off and four snoozes are hit and you're running out, grabbing a cup of coffee, headline news is on, you're hitting traffic, you're trying to get to the office, you gotta get in there, see a punch, guess what? Pretty much the red zone is kicked in. You're done. You're not getting out of the red zone all day long. But if you set yourself in the green zone, then what happens is you got yourself set. And then it's a matter of resetting every hour with the mindfulness exercise of staying in the green zone. How the first 10 minutes of your day and the last 10 minutes of the day will determine your entire life.